Over the past two days, some of the best cattle in North America have been here in the border city. But what separates one cow from another? Kyle Gallagher caught up with a judge at the Stockade Roundup to find out. What makes a good cow? Smoothness and uniformity in the characteristics of their neck, the way they blend into the shoulder, back through their body and into their hip and their muscle structure. And uh, that's some of the main things that I look for, is just the overall correctness and balance that they have within their body styling. Rob Garner would know. He's been judging cattle for the last 30 years. 4-H shows and all the way up to breed shows and open shows and major shows such as Lloyd Minster and Edmonton and Agribition in Toronto, but uh, yeah, I've judged for a while. Well, I'm going to start out with here is definitely, he's got some capacity to do it. I really enjoy it, I really love the cattle, I love the industry. It's been my livelihood or my family's livelihood for a number of generations now. Judging isn't an exact science, but there are a few important things to look for. The big thing is you'll want them functional, that they can work, but some guys want more performance, so they'll go for a little bigger animal, they want calving easy, you might find them a little more somewhat refined, but in, uh, in general, basically everything is the same when it comes to the uniformity and structure of the animal. Personally, Garner puts an emphasis on the foot and leg structure of the cattle. To be functional and, and travel smoothly and soundly, and it's a big thing. Uh, we don't go on a long trip with a bald set of tires and, on our cars, so we want the same thing with, the, with our cattle, we want to be functional. While it's nice to win, Garner says the real reason to show your cattle at events like the Stockade Roundup is to promote your product to potential customers. And judging by today's turnout, he feels the industry is in good hands. I don't want to consider myself old, but it is. It's another generation come on and there's lots of young people out here and it's great to see. So are there any other tips of the trade to pass along? I don't want to give away all my secrets. Fair enough. <laughs> Kyle Gallagher, New Cap News. Well, back to Halloween, the holiday would not feel complete without something making you scream in fear. Kids and their parents had the chance to do just that at Mackenzie School at Four Wing Cold Lake. Fraser Snowden has more on the frightful night. If you could swallow the butterflies and head through the man-made haunted maze, the entry by donation was all for a good cause. Well, we're supporting the Lakeland Humane Society. Uh, they, uh, somebody that we knew started working there and uh, we figured it was an excellent idea. I got my cat from there, and uh, we just noticed that uh, they, they never get enough funding. The maze attracted kids of all ages, and some were more scared than others. It wasn't too, too bad. It wasn't too, too bad. It was, it was good. It was too, too good. It was good. They weren't scary. <laughs> they weren't scary. Absolutely terrifying. <laughs> Zombies, skeletons, and other Halloween frights made an appearance throughout Walls of Black, but that didn't scare this little girl. Mm, people were scaring me, but I didn't. But I didn't was not afraid. You weren't scared? No. No. Organizers were pleased with the turnout and hope to have more than doubled their $500 goal. The response has been fantastic. Yesterday when we put on our first show, it was, uh, it was just wall to wall. The lineup was to the door pretty much the entire night. Um, it was it simply overwhelmed what I thought that we would get, the kind of show of support that we thought we would get. But the community, community came together and enjoyed our creation. In Cold Lake, Fraser Snowden, New Cap News. Well, the weekend is upon us, and if you're looking for something to do, Lloyd FM's Heather Clegg has had some ideas in this week's What's Happening. Saturday night, there's going to be a huge party at Lakeland College in Vermilion. It's banned in the sand, and you have a chance to see CCMA award-winning High Valley. They'll be playing live that evening, and they won the CCMA award for Interactive Artist of the Year. So if you're headed out, Facebook them, tweet them. Odds are pretty good they're going to get back to you. Another neat part about this show, Sam Lundell. You may have seen him perform in the Lloydminster area. He will be opening up the show for High Valley. If you want to head to the show, tickets will be $30 at the door. You can pick them up in advance. If you head to Vermilion, you can get them at Craig's and also at Webb's Machinery. On Sunday, get the whole family together and head out to Hillmond where they're throwing a huge celebration to get you ready for Christmas. Join them for brunch and then do a little bit of shopping as part of their Christmas market that they're hosting. And it's not just a chance to shop, it's also a chance for the kids to get a picture taken with Santa, to do some cookie decorating, do some other crafts as well. So head out for Hillmond and all the proceeds will help support the hall.
Well, if you can't make it out tomorrow night to take in some live music, we've got a CD that's going to help you really crank out the tunes all weekend long. How about winning yourself a copy of Dance Party 2013? Some of the biggest hit songs that you love to move to, including Swedish House Mafia, Don't You Worry Child. If you want a copy, it's really easy. All you have to do is email your name and daytime phone number to tvcontest at newcap.ca. And we want to say thanks to John at Universal Music Canada for setting us up with the dance tunes. Well, plates will be cleaned and bellies will be full on Sunday evening in Wasika. They're hosting their annual fall supper. Don't miss it. Head out, enjoy a great meal, turkey and all the fixins. Well, whatever you choose to do this weekend, I hope you have a great one. I'm Heather Cleggis, and that's what's happening.